Alright, we're at Coolit Systems at the CSI 2010. We'll check it out. Hi there, we're here at CES 2010 and um, we're pretty excited to be here showcasing four brand new products. We actually got four innovations awards at the show. Um, everything that we've brought is uh, completely designed from the ground up once again. Last year at the show we introduced a, a landmark product with the Domino ALC. The Domino ALC was, was pretty innovative since it brought uh, a really nice pre-packaged liquid cooling product out to the mainstream market. Well, we did have some things that we got feedback from the Domino. For example, it had a, a side shroud on it which made compatibility not 100% not for all chassis. Some people had fans in the side door and there was the possibility of having um, you know, some interferences. So we, we wanted to basically take care of that and at the same time some people didn't necessarily want to have the LCD and the different fan profiles. They just wanted to get the best liquid cooling bang for the buck. So we came up with the Eco ALC. As you can see the pump is actually um, integrated into the housing in the CPU module. The, um, the unit itself is the lowest uh, profile liquid cooler on the market. The, um, the optimizations we did on the pump actually included dropping its power consumption and of course decreasing the amount of noise. So it's utterly silent. You actually probably would have to put your ear right on it in order to hear it. And the power consumption now is down to one watt. So the, um, the, the nice, quiet, all-in-one unit, it's factory sealed, maintenance-free like all Coolit products. We wanted to then go through the user experience and say, okay, you know what, we want this to be absolutely flawless. The, um, the challenge is always retention. Retention is difficult. We have four different it's not mine. <laughs> we, have, we have four different configurations. We've got AMD and then we've got three active sockets from, from Intel. Um, so we looked at the Intel sockets and thought, okay, what can we do better? We didn't want to have little bits and pieces and parts and springs and you need tools to undo it and, and it's, it's, it's just a big hassle. So we put a lot of thought into this and developed a new retention system that features a lot of the things that we were wanting. We wanted to be able to change the sockets super fast and easy. The, um, the design actually features a little spring-loaded mechanism that you just simply lift, slide and lock. So we went from 775 to 1366. You know, you could change the, all four in about 10 seconds. So, even, you know, the, if you're as forgetful and, and um, you know, careless as I am sometimes, um, you can even get the Eco almost installed, realize you've got one that wasn't quite right, I can actually even install it from on top. Beyond that, when you look at the top here, we've got tool runoff protection if you want to use a screwdriver. It's not going to slip off and damage your motherboard components. And in addition to that, we've even knurled the outside so it can be completely toolless. So the, the resulting product we feel is, is easily the, the kind of best bang for the buck and the performance increases that we were able to achieve in the developments of different components here um, allow us to improve over the Domino's performance by, you know, let's say uh, on 150 watts or 175 watts, it would be between 6 and 8 degrees better. Absolutely phenomenal. Very happy. The, um, the fan regulation, since it doesn't have its own onboard controller, depends on the motherboard. It's a four-pin fan that actually goes down onto the CPU header and it will automatically increase or decrease the RPMs of the fan. Its maximum RPM is about 1700 RPM. So you're never really going to hear it that much, but it does have the capacity to respond but stay minimal of it as, uh, as much as possible. So the next product that we've got is called the Vantage. Let's go around here and we'll have a look.